In this video, I'll be showing the top 10 must-see places in the Outer Hebrides. So if you're planning a road trip or holiday to these magical islands, then this is the perfect video for you. Make sure you watch right until the very end, as I've saved the best until last. In 2024, I visited every corner of the Outer Hebrides when writing my new guidebook. So I've got a lot of useful tips coming up in this video. Hello by the way, I'm Robbie Romes, a travel guide writer and travel content creator. I post no fuss down to earth videos packed with useful information. So if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on to find your way back to the channel. Now let's get straight into the top 10 must see places in the Outer Hebrides. Starting in number 10, Trey Moore on the Isle of Barra. Now this is home to the world's only tidal runway right on the beach. Whether you actually fly into Barra here like I did, or just go and watch the planes land and take off, it's a spectacle well worth experiencing. Traymore in Gaelic means big beach, and there are a number of beaches with the same name across the Outer Hebrides, so just make sure you don't get confused and head to the wrong one. Now you can park for free at the airport and watch the planes land and take off twice per day. You'll probably want to head online to find out the flight times beforehand, and whilst you're here, you 100% have to go and visit Trey East. Now this beach is found literally 5 minutes walk from Trey Moor, and it's one of the most untouched pristine beaches anywhere in Europe. In number 9, the Mangursta Sea Stacks on the Isle of Lewis. The Outer Hebrides is known for its dramatic coastline, including the Mangursta Sea Stacks. Now these sea stacks tower out of the wild North Atlantic, offering an awe-inspiring coastal landscape. I actually used the photo of the sea stacks on the cover of my new Outer Hebrides guidebook, Accessing the sea stacks can be tricky as there's no obvious car park so please be sensible when parking. There are also sheer cliff edges and it's very boggy so please take care. Wear suitable footwear and if you do have a drone just be careful I almost lost mine in some really powerful winds. In number 8, Gary Beach and Trey Moore on the Isle of Lewis. So any locals or Outer Hebrides experts will know that I've actually combined two beaches here as they're right next to each other. Starting with the amazing Gary Beach, which feels like a really untouched paradise with white sands and dramatic sea stacks. Its big brother Traymore is backed by epic dunes and features powerful waves making it ideal for surfing. On a clear day, you can actually see the hills of Sutherland on mainland Scotland. In number 7, the Callanish Standing Stones on the Isle of Lewis. These are an arrangement of standing stones predating Stonehenge in England. The Callanish Standing Stones are definitely worth a visit on your own Outer Hebrides road trip. They were thought to be a focus for ritual activity during the Bronze Age, and today still stand overlooking some incredible surrounding views. Now before we get into the top 6, and trust me you really want to stick around to the end to find out the best places in the Outer Hebrides, I'm just going to let you know about my new road trip Outer Hebrides guidebook, which may actually be pretty useful to help you on your own road trip. It contains all of the Outer Hebrides must-see locations, with QR codes and what free words references making them simple and easy to find. Like all of our books, it's written in a relatable and down-to-earth style, as if me and you were talking over a pint. It contains everything you need to plan your own magical trip, including ferry information, budgeting, itineraries, and it also has the best campsites, B&Bs, hotels, and even free off-grid park-ups. Our guidebooks have been featured in The Guardian's Best of Travel 2024 and have also received thousands of fabulous 5 star reviews from travellers just like you. So if you'd like to support the channel and save yourself a load of time, money and stress, go and get Road Trip Outer Hebrides now for only $16.99 including free tracked UK delivery. So head over to my website now or scan the QR code. In number 6, the Harris Mountain Road on the Isle of Harris. This is definitely one of the most scenic stretches of road in the whole Outer Hebrides. The A859 road straddling the border between Lewis and Harris offers magnificent views over Loch Shipport and the North Harris Mountains. What's really cool is there's a couple of designated viewpoints where you can actually pull in and really soak in the scale and magnitude of this mighty part of the Hebrides. In number 5, Reef Loop and Reef Beach on the Isle of Lewis. The 7 mile reef loop is a short but sweet drive around what I can only describe as a mini paradise on the Isle of Lewis. You'll pass the absolutely sublime cliff beach before eventually reaching reef beach. As far as untouched Caribbean-esque beaches go, this one mile beauty is one that you really need to see to appreciate. You should definitely consider staying at the campsite located just behind the beach. It opens from May until the end of September. Now we're getting to the business end in number 4, Husinish Beach on the Isle of Harris. Without doubt one of the most awe-inspiring places anywhere in Scotland. Your adventure to the beach will actually begin following the epic B887 Hoosinish Road. Now this drive is that magnificent that it could have actually had its own place in the top 10. You'll follow a windy track road with the most ridiculous mountain views on one side and stunning coastal views to the other. You'll also pass the North Harris Eagle Observatory which is an absolute must see before reaching Hoosinish Beach itself. Quite frankly there can't be many better looking beaches in Scotland. And if you've got a motorhome or a camper van, you can actually stay at the Hoosanish Gateway, which is a park-up offering facilities such as toilets and showers. 
In number three, Vatase Beach, the Isle of Vatase. Now we're jumping pretty much as far south in the Outer Hebrides as you can get to the small Isle of Vatase located just off Barra. Now Vatase Beach is one of the most photographed places in the whole of Scotland. The mix of white sand, turquoise blue waters and serene sand dunes make for a paradise location. The sea is usually calm here, offering great swimming and paddle boarding opportunities. And keep your eyes peeled for the pesky cows that live in and around the dunes. And definitely check out Trey Shiar, a much quieter and mighty beach just a couple of minutes walk away. In number two, West Beach, Burnaray. West Beach can be found in Burnaray, an island just to the north of North Uist. Now, I was in two minds whether to actually put this at number one, and to be honest, it could easily make the top spot. Now, for me, this beach is quite hard to put into words. It's vast, it's untouched, it's absolutely stunning with awe-inspiring views out to the surrounding islands, there's just something really special about West Beach. It's that special that the Thailand Tourism Board accidentally used a photo of it to promote a beach in Thailand. If you do get the opportunity to visit here, you absolutely must. And I don't know why, but I felt really emotional here. And last but not least, in number one of the top 10 must-see places for the Outer Hebrides, it's Luskintai Beach, Sealy Boss Beach, and the Sealy Boss Viewpoint. Now technically these are two slash three places, but when you stood at the famous viewpoint at low tide, it's kind of hard to see where one beach starts and the other ends. You must pull over at the viewpoint lay by and feast your eyes on the swirls of white sand, turquoise blue waters and epic peaks into the distance. Once you actually set foot on Luskintyre in particular, you'll be wowed at its sheer beauty and isolation. The views over to the near island of Tarrance and the sweeping white sands really are something to behold. And there we have it, the top 10 must-see places in the Outer Hebrides. Let me know in the comments which location you're most looking forward to visiting. And if you are going to visit the Outer Hebrides on your own road trip or holiday, I hope this video has helped. And by the way, I'd always advise making a plan or a rough itinerary before you visit, making sure you travel responsibly, staying in hotels, campsites and designated parking areas. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my road trip Outer Hebrides guidebook. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on. And if you haven't watched my full length out of Hebrides videos, go and check them out on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.